The Hangover Part 2 takes place roughly two years after that one fateful night in Vegas, and Stu is getting married to some chick called Lauren, who's replaced that lovable whore from the first film. Now, the wedding is set in Thailand simply because Lauren's family is from there, and in this case, the only part of the wedding that matters is the bachelor party. This time, instead of waking up in a swank hotel room, it's a dump in the middle of Bangkok. Instead of finding Doug gone missing, it's Lauren's 16-year-old brother, Teddy, and the reunited Wolfgang wake up to a much bigger surprise, one of Teddy's fingers. I went into this movie hesitantly. The hangover was brilliant. It was smart, original, hilarious, and completely unexpected. So how can you top that using essentially the exact same formula? You can't. Sure, you can change out Carlos the masturbating baby for a fellatio driven drug dealing chain smoking monkey. You can swap out marrying a prostitute in a Vegas casino with having sex with a female stripper in a champagne room. You can even replace a missing tooth for a Mike Tyson tattoo. But it's just not the same. Except that it is. You know? Have you seen the movie Airplane? Now, have you seen the less successful sequel, Airplane 2? Exact same movie. And that's what The Hangover Part 2 is. Same movie, different location. Airplane 2 was in a space shuttle. Hangover Part 2 is in Thailand. Now, is it funny? Yes, there were moments where I was laughing so hard that I was actually in pain. But original? Hardly. And was it anything to write home about in the long run? Not really. The same old jokes are used, just more twisted and dark. And Dr. Ken Jeong even gets to show his tiny little pecker again. While far from matching the greatness of the first Hangover, The Hangover Part 2 had its moments. Hell, it had a lot of moments. Director Todd Phillips has even mentioned that he wants to do a trilogy with this and have it go out with a big bang. Guess that only means one thing. Alan, played by Zach Galifianakis, walking down the aisle next. Hell's bells, that'd be entertaining. Yay. Vancouver Canucks made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Huge party last night. Oh, what else do we have for clues to what happened? Right. Follow us on Twitter at Yearnay Reviews or check out our website shouldyouseed.com to find out how you can win passes to see Super 8 before anyone else. Tell us what you think. Leave us a comment below or come and talk to us on our website shouldyouseed.com. Then join us over on Facebook where we post exclusive outtakes from the reviews.